Hello and good evening. This video tutorial is going to be on how you would perform the, the pre-download or the AP image pre-download when upgrading a Cisco wireless LAN controller. So with the recent release of the 8.0.100.0 code, I figured I would go ahead and uh, do a video up on this. I get questions about this a lot and you'll also see a number of questions in the forums that are typically asking, you know, how do you do the pre-image download? How does it work? And so I'm going to go ahead and capture the entire process here. So let's go ahead and jump right in. As you can see, I've got my Cisco 2500 series wireless LAN controller. I'm currently running 7.6.120.0. And so the first thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and download the 8.0 software. So I'm going to come over here to management. We're going to take a look at where are we at. Oops, apologize. Actually, under commands, and we're going to go ahead and download a file. And as you can see here, I've got the SFTP all set up, and we're simply going to make a minor change here to the code version. And this is actually 8.0. Eight dot zero dot whoops that should be an eight eight dot zero dot one hundred dot zero there's my username and let me get my password in here all right and let's actually confirm that file name so there it is k9 dash eight dash zero dash one hundred dot zero dot aes so we're going to go ahead and say download and so this is just simply off on a, a server where I have an FTP account. So let's confirm we're going to do the download and I'm going to say update my password. That way it caches it in there for me. So now we're going to have a secure file transfer protocol session that starts up. And this is going to download the software from the FTP server and it's going to pull it down onto the 2504 controller. And so over here on the left, I'm also logged into the controller. And if I were to do a, let's say, a show AP image all, I can actually see that I've got four APs here. Uh, the primary image for all four APs is 76120. The backup image is 76110. For the first one, and you can see here, it's 73153 for the office and the garage, and then 76110. Um, if I were to type, show boot this will show you the information that we saw on the main screen in the GUI it's just simply going to show me my primary boot image is 76120 and then my backup boot image is 76110 so for whatever reason there was an issue with the 76120 image our backup boot image is the 76110 and so as you can see over here the code transfer is starting and this should go pretty quick. I've got a pretty quick connection here. So I could also do show AP image. And let's do show AP image all, which we did earlier. And so we can see that we've got four APs here. And this is the command that we're going to run to take a look at the pre-download status, right? And we want to see the pre-downloaded version as well as the pre-downloaded status, because this is going to tell us once the APs have successfully copied over the new version of code. And so all of my APs are um, either 3600s or 1600s. So I have three 3600s and I have one 1600. And so these are relatively new. Um, don't do 802.11 AC on any of these yet. So or at least on the uh, the 3600s, I don't have the, the AC module in any of my 3600s. And uh, the 1600 is one that I usually just do some testing on. So, But we've got it hooked up here, and we're going to go ahead and, and do the upgrade. Also to note that the, the AP in the garage and the AP uh, that's listed upstairs is, these are both mesh APs. And the other two APs, the basement and the office, those are hardwired in. 
right? So I've got two mesh APs and then two APs that are hardwired in. All right, so the code transfer is still running here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pause and I'll come back as soon as the code transfer has completed. So stand by just one second. All right, so I'm gonna pull us back here. You can see we actually have some activity and it's uh, writing the new file out to flash disk. And so this should not take much longer. We had a flurry of activity there. And so if I come back over here and type show boot, right, you can see that that's still our default and our active. We're now writing the new AP image bundle to flash disk. And so it still shows 76120. And so with the, uh, the new 8.0 code, and I'm actually gonna let this finish up first, we'll take a look, it's, uh, it's very convenient when you go to download the 8.0 code, uh, the Cisco website, uh, the CCO, or CCW I should say, has the, um, has the release notes right above the download area. So you can click on the link and it'll actually give you the release notes for the 8.0 version of code. It'll show you which APs uh, it's supported on. It'll show you which controllers it's supported on. It'll also show you what's new. So, you know, native IPv6, um, there have been a number of enhancements uh, with the 8.0 version of code. So now it's executing the uh, Finish script and says reboot the controller for for upgrade to complete optionally or I'm sorry to complete and then optionally pre-download the image to the APs before rebooting to reduce network downtime and so here we are right now you can see our primary image has changed right so we we used the GUI, uh, we did an SFTP transfer of the new Air OS file for 8.0.100.0. Um, took about five to six minutes to get it fully downloaded and to have everything on the controller finish up. Again, I'm running a 2504 controller. And now when we do a show boot, you can see the primary boot image is going to be 8.0.100 and now our backup image is going to be that 76.120. However, this is the current active image, right? So this is actually the image that we're running, and this is what it's going to default to when we reboot. Okay, so now we're at the pre-image download, and uh, the important part of the, the pre-image download, and why it's important to do the pre-image download, I can say that I've actually uh, the one time I did not do the pre-image download, one of my mesh APs uh, literally crashed, would not come back up, and it would just the light would cycle um, from green to red to off to green to red to off, and I literally had to pull it down from the ceiling and completely wipe it clean and then go through the whole process from scratch to get it back online. So the pre-image download will actually allow you to push the image to the AP so that it's there and what it does is it shortens the amount of time that you have to wait for not only for the download to take place but for the reboot to take place and for your entire upgrade and so this really sort of pre-stages the ROS image on the AP so that when we reboot over on the GUI side over here when I perform the reboot um, it's going to go much quicker and so let's go ahead and run the command so the command to actually load the image on to preload the image onto the APs is going to be config AP and then image and pre-download primary all now the reason I use the keyword primary here is because I'm saying that whatever the primary image currently is that is the image that I wish to have pre-downloaded onto all my APs. So I'll type in config AP image pre-download primary all and I'm going to hit enter. And so now you'll notice we don't see any error message, we don't see any feedback. So this is where we would want to type in our show AP image all 
and this is going to show us what's going on and again some fantastic output here right so here's my pre-download status and you can see that we're currently in the process of pre-downloading this image and the pre-downloaded version is going to be the 8.0.100 right and so if I were to you know obviously wait a couple seconds and we'll run it again and typically uh, the office AP and the basement AP the first two APs listed here these first two APs are probably going to finish before the other APs do simply because they're hardwired in so it just simply it's gonna say pre downloading until it finishes here and so we'll give it uh, a couple seconds so while that's taking place let's go ahead and let's go to cisco.com and I'm gonna go ahead and log in here and so let's get I'll get logged in and so if you go to support and wireless and you can see they're actually if I just click over here because I've recently downloaded it so I'm going to go to the wireless, the 2500 series wireless LAN controllers, and we downloaded some software. And so we'll go ahead and take a look at the wireless LAN controller software. And so we grabbed 8.0.100, and so right here, release notes for op and open source documentation. So we'll click on this, and here are the release notes actually for all of the releases dating back to the 7.0 code so if I click on the release notes here you can see that Cisco does an outstanding job in documenting what's new in the release which APs it works on so you know unsupported wireless LAN controllers. so here's a list of the wireless LAN controllers it will not work with you know what's new in the release access point and scale feature so native IPv6 so if I click on native IPv6 you can see that the IPv6 addressing used by the wireless LAN controller is listed here, right? It talks a little bit about the stateless address auto configuration. And again, we'll scroll back up. Security and radius, ease of management, high availability enhancements. So 802.11ac configuration is supported in a high availability scenario now. And again, it just goes over a lot of the new enhancements that are supported with this 8.x code. So let's go ahead and come back over here to our controller CLI and let's do the show AP image all again. Aha, and so there you can see that on the office AP, which is literally the AP right above my head here in the office, it's a 3600, 3602, that the, the image is now completely downloaded, right? And so we'll take a look here. My guess is, is that the basement AP will finish next and it did because those are both wired in so the the next two APs which are in the garage and upstairs those APs are going to be last in downloading the file uh, obviously because again they are also uh, mesh APs so they're in mesh mode alright so we'll give that a few more seconds and again just to come back over here and take a look you can see that the software support that is listed here it lists out the access points and which access points are supporting which software right and then you've got your outdoor access points the 1500 series so again the release notes are very valuable it's a very good thing to check out and again the number one issue that most people run into when they're doing the pre-image download is they might be trying to do the pre-image download to an older uh, an older AP and that AP might not have enough flash uh, free space in order to accommodate doing the pre-download so let's do the show AP image all alright so the garage has finished and now we are simply awaiting the download for the last AP and when that is complete what we're gonna do is we are then gonna come back over here to the GUI 
and we're going to go ahead and reboot the controller and we're also going to reboot the access points and those will reboot automatically and you can see why this is a great idea right you can see how long this is taking to download some of these images or to this image to the different APs imagine if you had 150 200 500 a thousand access points you would definitely want to consider doing the pre-image download in order to speed things up because all of this time we're waiting here uh, for the images to pre-download that's what would take place while we're doing the upgrade and so we're basically skipping that step and it looks like my upstairs AP has dropped off the charts and there it is and you'll notice now it says none and none so for whatever reason it has not downloaded the image and so let's go ahead and let's go back a few commands or actually let's go ahead and type in we're gonna run it one more time so we're gonna say config AP image pre-download primary and if I do a question mark I can enter the name of the Cisco AP and so let's go ahead and just we want to do just this one AP and I had issues with this guy earlier when I did an upgrade and I did not do the the pre-download option so let's see here if I do the show AP image all so he's gonna pre-download so I'm gonna go ahead and pause and then I will jump back in as soon as he is complete okay so our final AP which is a mesh AP that's upstairs now has that has the download it's actually you know it's always great when things fail because then you get an opportunity to take a look at it and figure out you know hey maybe why did it fail or you know if it fails here's how I do just a single AP which we got to take a look at here so the pre-image download at this point the pre-image download is complete on all four APs and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over here and it says for the new code to take effect you need to reboot the system click here to get directed to the reboot page and so here I am I'm gonna go ahead and say save and reboot right and then click OK and at this point I'm gonna open up a local shell and this is just on my iMac here and I'm gonna ping the wireless LAN controller 192.168.1.251 because it's going to go ahead and it's going to go down and so we want to watch to make sure that it comes back up over here you can see I'm hitting enter and nothing's happening alright so we've got the pre-image download complete the controller is rebooting and should be up here shortly so I'm going to go ahead and do another pause here I don't want you to have to sit and watch uh, failed ping requests so I'm gonna go ahead and pause here real quickly and I'll, I'll, as soon as it starts to ping I'll go ahead and uh, restart the video okay so as you can see it's a good thing I paused it took about just sh shy of four minutes there uh, from when the pings began until the controller uh, has come back up and onto the network so let's take a look here I'm gonna click in the GUI on monitor I'm going to enter my password in. All right. And so we are definitely back in. You can see here that the software version is 8.0.100. Um, we've only got uh, one active AP right now. So uh, what's interesting is as I look above me, my access point, it's actually uh, while the controller was down and this is what I saw in the mesh AP that was upstairs when it crashed when I didn't do the pre-image download is that it would flash uh, green for one second red for one second and then out for one second and then it would repeat that pattern because it could not associate back with the wireless LAN controller um, it definitely there was something wrong with it where it did not receive the full image before the wireless LAN controller had finished doing what it was doing it was simply unable to associate and so what's happening now is the AP above me is actually uh, flashing green just nonstop uh, flashing of green and then what's gonna happen is with the 3600 anyway 
uh, once it's associated and once it actually has clients associated to it, uh, it'll turn like an aqua, an aqua blue color. So it's, it's now it's a solid green. And so I'm trying to think if I have any Wi-Fi devices. I do have some Wi-Fi devices down here that should associate with it. So let's go ahead and uh, go back over here to the wireless LAN controller. We'll go back to the GUI. I'm sorry, the CLI. And we're going to type in our username and password. All right, so we're now back to the GUI CLI. And I'm going to go ahead and type show boot. And so this is going to show us now. So we have our primary boot image is now the 8.0 image. It's the default image, and it's also the active image. And that's what you want. This is the output that you would expect to see. And this is the output that you want to see after you do your upgrade and your reboot. I'm going to go ahead and do a, uh, let's see, how about a show AP image all. So I'm going to do a show AP image all, and as you can see, currently I only see two APs. So we're going to give, uh, I see the basement AP, and I see the garage AP, the office AP, which is literally right above me here. We don't see that yet. As you can see, it just upgraded or updated uh, here to show two APs total. So there are four total, and now we're down to just the basement AP. And the basement AP is the 1600. And so the other APs are still coming up. All right, there's the office AP. And what's interesting is the primary image on the basement AP still shows as 76 for right now. You can see the Office AP is showing the 8.0100. And we actually have a nice aqua blue light on the Office AP. It shows that there are, or there is, at least one wireless client associated to it. All right. And so I'm going to pause and give this a couple seconds here. I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, do a physical inspection while I pause here to make sure that uh, all the APs are at least coming up as expected. So we'll pause right here and I'll be right back. Okay, back from the physical inspection and we've got all of the APs back online and everything's working great. I didn't actually have to do anything except just be patient. So as you can see here, We've got the primary image is 80100 for the office AP, the basement AP, the garage AP, and the upstairs AP. And so that is the pre-image download. And this is why you would, again, you'd want to do the pre-image download to save yourself time. As you can see over here, the GUI has now updated to show that it sees all four access points. And you do definitely have to be patient, especially if you've got some APs in mesh mode. It definitely did take a little longer for those mesh mode uh, mesh mode APs to come around. All right, well hopefully hopefully you have found this video tutorial to be helpful and hopefully this uh, assists you maybe if you're doing an upgrade and you're trying to do the AP uh, pre-image download and you're not quite sh certain how to do it or what the benefits might be and how you can check to see what the status is of the APs. All right, that's it for this video tutorial. I really appreciate you watching and have a great evening.